To begin painting the beard of your Mariposa Skies uh, bearded iris, you're going to begin using the 3 8 inch angle brush and you will be using just the straight diazinon purple, which is the deepest shade. Um, and you'll go over your sketch that you drew in all the little curves and all the little nooks and crannies that you see in the beard that would be in shadow. The diazinon purple will be your darkest, deepest shade. Go over all of the veins, all the little pockets of deep shadow next to the um, beard. And then you're going to be picking up uh, the diazinon purple mixed with a titanium white and begin laying in um, all the folds of the iris and just continue working that all through the beard. Every little nook and cranny and bump and lump that the beard has You'll be using the lighter color variation on the, to highlight. So those will be the areas that will be raised or appear to be raised. What you're trying to do is make the beard, make the flower look 3D, um, where it's actually just a 2D um, image. So that adding the deep color in the shaded part, in the depth, and gradually building that up lighter will give the illusion of depth and curves. So you can see where I'm just adding just the highlight. I've started, sometimes I work in patches like that a little bit at a time. Sometimes I will go and I'll lay a wash over the entire part of the flower. Um, like you see here, um, I'll just maybe do that over the entire area that I'm painting. Um, I like to mix it up a little bit, um, and like I said, sometimes I do the entire flower, sometimes I do um, little bits and pieces and break up the parts, um, but I usually work from left to right. Um, that's just how I work. If you're left-handed, you may work um, right to left. Um, this is a mixture of the diazinon purple with the titanium white and um, you can see I'm using a lot more of the ultramarine blue actually in this. So that shade right there that I'm adding, uh, the highlight is mainly the ultramarine blue mixed with the titanium white. And I'm just going to continue laying that in and that's the area that you're that I'm painting now are areas that are going to be raised. Um, so that your eye will pick up to where it looks like it's going to have a curve in the petal. And you just continue laying those colors all around, working from dark to light, from light to dark. There's a lot of the highlight, you can see. Um, a lot of the white mixed in with the ultramarine blue. And like I said before, that just gives the appearance that it's a it's a more raised area. So you're just going to keep follow that um, your reference photos that you're using. Um, you're just going to be looking at that and working off of those reference photos. Um, if you have a live flower, that's fantastic. If you can use um, to work off of uh, your painting. I don't normally, I usually just use reference photos. And I might do a couple sketches to start. But you can see here, I'm moving from the ultramarine blue mix and back to the diazinon purple mix, always mixed with the, um, the titanium white. Now if we're going really deep, you can use um, like a Payne's Gray mixed in with the Diazinon Purple. The Diazinon Purple is a really, really deep purple. I love to use it um, because it's perfect for the shaded areas. But if you want to add even more depth, you can mix in a little bit of black with your the deepest purple and or Payne's Gray. Those are both great shades um, to use for adding a lot of depth to your paintings.
can speed up the film or slow it down as you need to, to kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. You're basically just coloring in the lines um, with your draw with your paint, uh, and you're working your drawing that you already made, and you're just filling in with color. Basically, is what you're doing, working off of that reference photo. I pretty much use the same brush for almost the um, entire surface of the painting this iris beard. Um, you'll see that I sometimes I'm using the chiseled edge um, and pulling the paint towards me. Sometimes I use it to sort of scruff in the paint a little bit there. You can see me doing that. Um, and I use, you know, I'm mixing my paint with water and that'll give it more of a like a wash effect and what you're going to want to do is sort of build up that paint in layers so you're just going to be you know it's only paint if you make a mistake you can correct it there's no damage done it's only paint if you don't like what you see paint over it and just keep trying and experimenting with what you're doing um, so you get the effect that you like but I use that angle brush to lay in color, to lay in the wash, but I also then use the chiseled edge to do fine lines if I, if I need to do fine lines. And the larger the area that I'm painting with, usually the larger the brush that I use. And you can see what I do here also as I'm, as I sort of to make it so it's not so overwhelming when you're painting um, a subject is to break it down into pieces and parts. Like I started with the each leaf individually and then with the beard, I always start on one side and almost complete it before I move to the other. Um, it's completely up to you, however you want to paint your flower. So here I'm starting on the opposite side of the beard and you can see again, I'm using the diazonon purple, the deepest purple to get into all the shaded areas, all the 80 areas that are gonna be the lowest area. Um, if this were a real iris you were looking at, it would be the folds of the iris and all the creases is the darkest. And here's the um, diazonon purple mixed with some titanium white and the ultramarine blue. And uh, that will give you, so you have the depth, the darkest color, and now this is the medium color. Um, and usually then the last color will be the white mixed in with the shades. So I almost have the entire iris filled in, the beard anyway, um, and you can see that I'm sort of smoothing out some of the areas that I've already added, um, and you can go over those creases so they don't look so severe. Um, you do a little bit of shading um, to work in, sort of to give it a soft curve, um, and you're just blending, going lighter shades, lighter shades and softly blending those, the dark, the deepest value, to the 
next shade up lighter value. Now you can see my concentration of paint has a lot more titanium white in it. So what I'm doing now is adding the highlights um, into those little folds that are in the petals. Um, and so I'm almost completed with this. You can see I have added a little bit of a blue, more of the stronger um, just concentration of the ultramarine blue, not really mixed with any of the other colors. Um, and like I said, still going over with um, a brighter and brighter, um, adding more of the titanium white in to really get a highlight um, on the beard. So it looks like they're, like I said, there are bumps and crevices and um, curves. You want to make this, the beard, look like it has dimension. And almost to where we're going to be, the last thing we're going to be doing is working on the middle part of the iris, the middle part of the beard of the iris. Um, and adding a little bit more purple, a little bit more blue. I usually just keep going back, looking at my reference photo, and then mixing colors um, to get it to look as close to the photograph as I am able to get it. Um, and like I said, if you don't like something, keep trying. It's The painting is completely yours. If it doesn't end up looking like your reference photo, that's okay too. So the last thing I'm doing here is just adding some white. There's always a little bit of like a, a white uh, bicolor up towards the beard, some speckling. So that's what I'm adding in now. It's just a higher concentration of the white um, and really, really bright, more white than anything um, for those little speckles that are always in the beard right or excuse me in the yes in the beard right next to um the um the middle part of the iris the beard all right thank you so much for watching and check back soon i'll be adding the rest of the iris so you can see how to complete your iris including the leaves. Thanks so much.